to that moment where it all fell apart. So I try and drink my emotions till I can fill my heart. Goedemorgen! Ja, goedemorgen allemaal. Uh, vandaag zijn wij in Brussel, want het is vandaag zaterdag 23 juni, wat wil zeggen dat het dit weekend Bloody Night Con Europe is. Yes! Uh, we zijn net aangekomen met de trein en we gaan nu wandelen uh, naar waar dat de conventie is om onze passen en extra's te gaan doen. And I don't understand how you slipped through my Onze extra's nu en onze pas. En ja. we zitten rij N, nummer 23 en 25. Normaal pas. En we hebben dit gekregen. Dat is zo, ja, eigenlijk het schema van vandaag. En ons ja. Dirk, of Apple, het extra. En ik heb een ketting gekocht. Ik was super hard aan het twijfelen tussen de ringen en de kettingen. Maar de ringen pasten niet. Dus dan moest ik wel een ketting worden. kopen. En nee, we zijn nu eigenlijk gewoon aan het wachten tot, het, uh, tot dat we binnen mogen. Dat zal nog wel even duren, want het begint pas om 10 uur. Het is nu 9 uur ja. ongeveer. Dus we moeten nog zeker drie kwartier wachten. <laughs> yeah. Maar we zitten hier wel goed. Ja. En we zijn heel excited. Dus dat komt wel goed. We kunnen nog goed. even rusten. <laughs> A few moments later. We zijn nu aan het wachten tot het gaat beginnen. We zitten in de zaal. En we zitten echt super dichtbij. Ja. Voor nog super veel mensen achter ons. Ja. Dat is echt zwart, hè? Ik ga het even laten zien hoe dicht wij. Dus ja, we zitten echt super dicht bij. En we zijn echt excited. En uh, ja. Ja, het duurt nog weer 10 minuutjes voordat het gaat beginnen. En we hopen dat het op tijd begint. En dan gaan we ze eindelijk zien. Ja. Thank you guys so much for having us. 
Hi! <laughs> I'm really to Brussels, so I'm very excited to, to be here. So thanks for having us. I'm sorry I murdered her. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear anything this weekend about that. Nothing. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Spoiler. Um, thank you so much for having us. Merci à tout So that happened. I, I, I think for us, a, a lot of, I mean, not, it's not necessarily something, some one thing specifically that was funny, but I know in the rare scenes that we were all together, all in one scene, that those for me were the most fun. There wasn't like a specific prank, but we would joke around the whole time and kind of get in and out of character or mess around with one another. I know there'd be times, um, uh, the Salvatore house, like, if, the, if there was a scene and it was like Ian Summerholder's coverage and if the camera wasn't on me or like Paul Wesley, I know Paul Wesley would always look at me and always give me the funniest faces trying to like make me laugh during Ian's coverage or something. And so like little moments of that where we would just kind of mess around with each other and just joke around because we rarely all be filming at, uh, at one time. Those, uh, those were always funny. Another time we'd always be filming together were for all the dances, the decade dances. And that was one of my personal favorites because they would make us take course. dance lessons beforehand. And they weren't really lessons. It was like on our lunch hour, they would get everyone together in like a weird office and show us dance moves. And I really wish we had footage of that so you could see these gentlemen in dance class. Learning I may, how I to may, do the throwback, like the 50s yeah, drive. I may, I may have one of one of you. <laughs> yeah, I, I do, I do. Yeah, I think but I'm, I'm such a fabulous dancer, Yeah, you're Michael. fantastic. <laughs> I look that was it. funny. I think us, all, of, all of us having to like try to talk and dance at the same time but it was, was also really the, hard. I try, I, anyone, I challenge you. All, uh, but it was all the costumes too. It was always like a theme, right? It was always yeah. a theme to these, these dances. So, um, sometimes you wear something ridiculous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi guys. Hey. Um, it's my first time meeting you. So I was wondering how would you describe each other to someone who doesn't know you? Do we, do we have to describe each other or yeah. we describe ourselves? Describe each other. <laughs> <laughs> I would say goofy little brother <laughs> and um, hilarious um, encourager of fun encourager and sexy of fun. apparently encourager, encourager of fun of like I, come on guys come on friendship guys. I'll, I'll take it games I like snowboarding it. yeah yeah yeah. I love it. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. McQueen. Do you guys want to? McQueen. Uh, McQueen. You have to describe me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. McQueen. Um, God, did you say little brother? Yeah. Yeah. Um, God. But he's not so little. Look how ripped McQueen is. He's big. He's not such a little brother anymore. Um, I, I want to say, I don't know why I want to say Bobo's, that always comes to mind, but I'm not going to, that's a, that's an, in, Bobo's is an, it's an insight. Is it, isn't it the, the drink with the, the tapio? No. no, 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 you know what, it, yeah, it's a little insight thing that you probably, I'll remind you later. Um, it's like a season one, season two thing, you, you know, yeah, okay. Um, and Candace, with Candace, I would say, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> Because it's some things that she would say that I love, and uh, uh, Candice, uh, ooh, ooh, I feel like you just take care of everything. You like, she's like you, you. Um, what's the word? In my I mind? love how serious you're taking this. I'm just because it's like you, you, you really like to take care of, uh, like, not, not the event planner, but if you're, like, traveling, like, we went to dinner last night, 
and Candace made the reservation and the place was incredible. And so like you definitely can count on Candace to really like navigate trips or events or any type of celebration, Candace throws it down and it's always the best, 100%. I would say wildfire and hard work. That's okay. I like it. I'll, I'll, take, it. I'll, I'll take it. Wildfire, huh? Ooh, yeah. Wow. She, she likes sayings and like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks. I like it. Wildfire. That might be my new that, perfume line. That is, <laughs> that's your nickname. Wildfire the, by Candace King. I like that. That's got a good name too. Get lit. Get lit? Yeah. Like a wildfire. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I came just with my meeting room and date. I came with the raffle tickets. And I sat next to him, so it's just like a half meter. And it's just like a half meter. Yeah, I have to say that. But that's my favorite. And it's just really fun. And I have a panel of Daniel seen, and you not. En die was zo grappig, maar echt, echt grappig. Oh, wij hebben zo hard gelachen. Uh, die heeft ook een mic drop gedaan. Oh, wow. <laughs> zo, bam. En dan was dat terug opgerapt. Dus dat dacht zo. Het <laughs> was echt grappig. En uh, nu zijn de groepsfoto's en dat, heb, dat hebben wij niet. Dus ze zijn nu uh, video's aan het laten zien van fans die gemaakt hebben. En dan is mijn video geweest. Ja. En ik zat hier echt zo. Trots. <laughs> en nu is het wachten totdat de groep zo pas gedaan zijn. Ja, dat is het volgende panel. Wie is het volgende panel? Ik heb echt geen idee. Oké. So, I met you, which was last month in Paris. Yes. So, my I missed you. Oh. <laughs> so good to see you again. So, I want to know what are your favorite places you visited in Paris? Oh, well. Probably my favorite moment, we went pretty late, but we, we had a free day and we just kind of walked around and got to like just experience looking at everything around and then somehow we start walking in to this like amazing like courtyard and this is how dumb I am. I'm like, I knew that I wanted to go to the Louvre really bad, but we were just wandering and we walk into this courtyard and I'm like, it's taking my breath away. I'm like, this is the most incredible place I've ever seen. Like, I am like almost teary. There's like a, a like violin playing. Like, it was just so gorgeous. And then we're walking and we realize we're in Lyft. Like, that's where we were going. And I had no idea. And then we just explored um, for like three hours, just going to, of course, we didn't have time to see the whole thing, but the actual building just the ceilings and everything. It just really took my breath away. It was just incredible. And um, even just going to the little cafes, there was a lot, I didn't have a lot of time, so there was a lot of things I wanted to see that I didn't. Um, and oh, we rented Vespas, like a scooter. Oh my God. It was so fun, but so scary. The traffic, there's no lanes. And like I just felt like my knees were like touching the cars. It was an adrenaline rush. I didn't know I, it was crazy, but it was so much fun. We got to see a lot, of, a lot doing that. Just everything's very, very beautiful there. Yeah. Oh, and we did a boat cruise um, at night. So you guys said the Eiffel Tower lit up, and I know it's all the touristy stuff, but it really was amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, we staan nu aan het schuiven waar al de foto van mijn kind is. En we zijn echt zo excited. En die is echt super mooi in het echt. En nu gaan we daar gewoon naast staan. Die lijkt echt keihard. Allee, ja, het ziet er echt nog mooier uit dan op tv. Ja, dus we gaan dood. Ja, oké. Okay. <laughs> we zijn juist terug van de foto van Candice. En uh, we zijn nu aan het wachten voor de full meeting room. En het duurt nog 25 minuten. Ja, ja. en Candice is echt super mooi. Ja. En echt Dus we zijn echt helemaal excited. I've got no good explanation for what I put you through. Managing my expectations.
and don't apologize for it. Again, that doesn't mean be an asshole and don't apologize for it. Um, but just whoever you are, I do believe you are made perfectly and, and I find myself and I see other people trying to be something else or trying to for other people and I think you should just be yourself. Um, and the other one is only God knows why, which um, is again like no matter what your religion is, it's just when don't fight your circumstances. Whatever's happening to you um, usually is for some type of reason or growth or you're affecting someone else. Um, it's also a, a lyric to a kid rock song, so don't make fun of me. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I love you, Ryan. Yes, I know, I'm a strange bird. Um, but yeah, I would, I would say that. <laughs> I'm looking for a new mantra. <laughs> I don't have a good one at the moment. Um, I'm just trying to live more presently and with more gratitude. I think it's easy to get bogged down by the worries of it all and not having it all together. And I used to just always be the person that was like, oh, it'll all work out. Um, and then I think as I've gotten older, the panic of what if it doesn't work out and mortality and all that fun adult stuff. Um, but yeah, that it just being like grateful for the things that are there in like present moment. Just saying, wow, you know what? Even if it's raining, the rain smells nice. You know, just trying to appreciate those things. And um, anyone got a good mantra? I'm I'm in the buyer's market for one. But, but yeah, just being present minded. Yeah, uh, I got another one. Um, I teach student writing and I teach writing and Last year, a sentence in Dutch. Oh, no. <laughs> I already knew you didn't. I'm so sorry. I do not remember it, but you're going to have to say it again, and I'll try my best. And I want to teach it to the... Yes, let's all, let's all learn this. Uh, it's, I love you, but in Dutch, so it's... Ik. Ik. How? 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 Van? Van? Yeah. Yeah. Ik, ik, how, van, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I was wondering if you uh, could 
relationships uh, between being a mermaid, being a vampire, a werewolf, or a witch? In real life, what would you choose? Definitely a witch, I think. And why? I don't know. I think we just have the most fun. <laughs> I think. <laughs> So uh, when I was younger, I watched Ace Hero, um, with you and Ethan, of course. Um, and then I started watching the vampires and the originals. And then after that, I started watching The Secret Circle because of you and Shelly, because I love her. <laughs> I love her too. And um, I want to ask, what was the most, your favorite role out of those? Probably The Secret Circle. That was a really fun role for me. Um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun on that show. And then probably... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is another full meeting room. We'll stand for the Steven and follow up. And I'm with Steven on the phone. I'm going to get the phone to get the And it's not echt heel mooi op. And zijn hoofd is echt grappig. Ja. En Phoebe haar panel is net geweest. En we zijn nu aan het wachten op het laatste panel. En dat is Steven, Michael en Nate. Ja. En daarna is vandaag daar. <laughs> maar we hebben morgen nog, en ik heb morgen nog foto met Nate, Riley en Phoebe. En, en ik nog met Nate en Phoebe. Ja, dus dat komt en ik helemaal hoop. goed. <laughs> Want ik ga gebeuren dat ik de full meeting ga met Daniel Win. Maar... Ja, ik heb uh, voor Riley geprobeerd, maar ik heb niet gewonnen. Maar ik heb wel deze morgen een meeting room met Nate gewonnen, dus ja. mag ik niet, niet klaar. <laughs> Eh, hey, dos pinche. No. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I was thinking that like, most of the time when people think of Italy, they think like one of the most beautiful cities in the world, and it is beautiful. But I was wondering if you have been anywhere else in Italy, if you love it, like, what do you think about it, where did you go? Uh, I've been to Perugia, nice. uh, I've been to Venice, uh, I've been to different parts of Tuscany, Florence, nice. uh, I'm going to Milan. Uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of it. I love it. Yeah. What was your? What was my time? Mine, mine, mine was Rome, and it was great. It was, yeah, yeah. it was a quick trip. But what was out of those? Which was your? Yeah, no. Tuscany. I actually think there's a place oh. called Assisi, um, which is beautiful. It's this city that was built on a hilltop. It looks like something from Lord of the Rings. What's that place where they're all living? The anyway. <laughs> so it was like uh, I got nothing. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I feel like Assisi was really beautiful for me. Yeah. And have you seen that in Florence, like, the cafe ball? It's really amazing, like, the church. The, the cafe? The cathedral. cathedral. Oh, the cathedral St. Peter's? Yeah. 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 In Florence. Yeah. Oh, in Florence. Oh, yeah, this, yeah it's beautiful, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I spent hours in front of it. Oh, it's yeah. Like, Nate would love this one. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah. Really, oh, Florence is amazing. Italy. Italy. Yeah, yeah, Venice. Venice is incredible, you know. It's pretty different. They clothes everywhere, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of the Colosseum. That's why yeah, I love that. Can I, can you want an interesting biblical fact? Uh, yeah. 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 No, we're going to introduce you to a biblical fact. The biblical fact, to write this down. The Colosseum. Please, please put your seatbelts on. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain yeah. Speaker, we're about to experience light turbulence, so if you can please pass your seatbelts and put your trains in the upright position. Thank you. <laughs> so, the Colosseum was built from the money that they took from destroying the temple, the Jewish temple in Jerusalem in 65 70 AD. So, when they destroyed that, all the gold and the money that they took from Jerusalem built the Colosseum. Oh wow! Crazy, right? Who knew that? Have you have you seen it? You've yeah. you been? I've been to both. Oh, okay. Obviously, the temple itself. Oh god, no! It's, it's, but it's it's incredible. Yeah, it? yeah. It's crazy, amazing. Anyway, that's a fun fact. I hope you tell someone that today. Did you know that the Colosseum was built with the money that they took from the the temple in Jerusalem? Oh, mind blowing. Sixty-five to seventy AD. Keep the date. Thank you. Save the date. <laughs> Remember that? I love it. I got it. Here we go. Does this mean that you don't like the Colosseum because of that? Oh, no, no, it's a, it was a fascinating building, but let's think about what happened inside the Colosseum. You know, innocent people were killed for entertainment. Here you we know. go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's pushing buttons. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I, I can appreciate the structure, 
but the creation of it and what it was used for, I'm probably not going to be like, yeah, let's, let's put lions and people in there and see what happens. I understand that. Yeah. Okay, my question is, who would win uh, an arm wrestling battle between you three guys? Steven. Uh, I'm a lover, not a fighter, so Steven. I, I bow out of the competition. Steven. Yeah. But let me ask these guys this question. Who would win out of scissor, paper, rock between you two? Let's just find out. Let's <laughs> work. Are we doing just what? Best of three. Come on, two and three. 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 Two ik had echt de buik bij van het lachen en ja um, Steven komt morgen niet dus ik ben wel een beetje verdrietig ja. dat ik hem niet meer ga zien maar maar aangezien hij in het laatste panel was en dat het zo grappig was was wel een goede afsluiter ja en nu gaan we dus naar huis met de trein ja. en dan wachten tot morgen ja.